coffee and camping. Two things that go together like nothing else. Coffee and camping. Now I'm not talking about instant. Instant coffee is not coffee. And that's a hill I'm willing to die on. But how to brew it and still be light. For this, I have to channel my inner spirited man and also get the help of a spirited woman. I would probably cut it straight across there. Because yeah, like that'll sit in there. So this is the coffee solution that I came up with. And basically, I just made like a cloth filter that fits in this just like a coffee bag. I don't need to bring two different like pots, you know, one to boil water in and then pour it over a filter because that's just kind of annoying. I used to have a kettle, like an actual camping kettle. It's way too big. I think I'm overcomplicating it now, but you know how like a tote bag's got like a flat bottom? This is maybe double what it needs to be. Exactly in half. And also... So you just let it draw down by itself after it's brewed. So it's kind of immersion. Yeah, it is immersion brewing. I made nettle tea with it last time I was camping. And there's a bit of a residual nettliness to it. Which is annoying because this coffee's really nice. Yeah, well I want it to be small. So I've pinned it. I guess it wants to be pretty tight. Okay. And then cut the box out. So that's the side. So yeah, like that's that would be one side and then the other. Like that, but just a tiny, tiny bit that way. The key is to I don't know. Yeah, the seam. Got a box, do you think it'll be wide enough? Or we fold it twice to hem it and don't bother zagging it. Whoop. I'm just 